what's up YouTube welcome to the channel and in today's video I'm actually going to talk about dart versus go so it's coming up right now let's get to the video first of all what is dart dart is a cohesive or scalable programming language and servers so using dart language and libraries and to grant anything from simple script to apps on the other hand go is an open source programming language that makes it easy to build simple, reliable, and efficient software. Go compiles quickly to machine code. Machine code yet has the convenience of garbage collection and the power of runtime reflection. So it's really it's a really fast st statically statically typed compiled language. It feels like a dynamically typed interpreted language in my perspective. So let's head over to the why developers choose Dart. As a developer like me, I can say I've worked with Dart frequently. I've used Dart, used, used Dart more as a programmer, but I've never used Go before. So I would say why developers choose Dart is why one well, of the basic and obvious answer to that question is it integrates with Flutter. Yeah, Flutter makes use of Dart for creating both Android and iOS applications. It's also backed by Google. You know that I can actually say on the meta it has a, a wide range of great tools. It can be used to create scalable apps and so much more. And let's head on to why do developers choose Go? I've never used Go before, I've never programmed in Go, so I'm gonna say from the feedback I've get from other developers, they said Go is very high performance, it's very high performance performance language. It's simple, it has a simple minimal syntax. It's really fun to write. I never written go before. It's um it has this fast compilation time, so its compilation speed is really really fast. So let's move on to the pros of Dart. The pros of Dart no, is heavily backed by Google. It's um its syntax is not that very hard to remember, so it's similar to JavaScript and it's um it's very fast. Yeah, Dart is very fast. I use Dart to my respect. Dart is very fast, and apart from that, Dart it's um it's very it's uniquely is uniquely typed with some um, Flutter. So it's using creating Flutter apps, creating highly scalable apps. So because the speed it's actually compiled to JavaScript, so Dart is very very fast. And let's go on to the the pros of uh, using the pros of using Go. One of the pros is when Go has its high performance, very very fast. It um, has fast compilation time times. Um, right from that, I can actually say go to its its syntax. Its syntax is actually very awesome because you don't get to you don't get to waste time in like compiling errors and just so go syntax. It's concise and easy to read. So those are some of the pros of go. So you can check our language yourself because I've naturally used go myself. So let's move on to the cons of that. Cons of that. I've been using Dart for some pretty for, long, for a little while now, so I can see on the corner that it's um, um JavaScript and TypeScript. So, because that's actually a con, it's not actually a con to me, but when I searched this on the internet, it was a con which pumped up. It's locking JS, JavaScript, and TypeScript into interop, which is very hard to accomplish. Then the cons of Go, you waste time in plumbing, in plumbing and catching. Uh, cat its code at a certain time when writing uh, creating a big project its code becomes very robust and becomes very very many many and lengthy which it, which which are developers we don't want its packages and path dependencies are brain dead what I mean by brain dead it's it doesn't get that much updated so it's brain dead then the cons that it has automatic garbage collection overhead the garbage collection can heap and cause a kind of like lagging to your code, so some disadvantage of Go. It's Google's documentation art beginner friendly. This actually I've actually searched this on the net and I saw it true. Yeah, Go's documentation aren't beginner friendly and its syntax are uh, its syntax are clean, concise, but it has this uncommon syntax because you're gonna learn new kind of signs and symbols in Go. So those are actually my personal Personal um, thoughts on Go and Dart. So put, in, put in the comments what you think about it and which language you actually prefer. In my perspective, 
the two language are very amazing, they're very powerful, very fast, and they can use to create efficient software. So it depends on your choice, what you guys want to choose. So but for me, the both languages are good. I've used Dark, but I never worked to go. So whatever language you choose, it's good. So guys, if you guys love this video, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button to get updated and I release new videos like this. And until then guys, I'm signing out.